Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about Michael Pachter. Yeah, I haven't talked about him in a while because um, ever since, I think, a lot of the Wii U, I was talking about Michael Pachter. Because he was, he had a lot to say about the Wii U, and let's face it, with the Wii U, he was mostly right. I think he thought they were going to get to like 20 million units, they didn't even get there. He was mostly right about Nintendo's failure in the Wii U, right? But now he's talking about the Switch. Now, I'm not going to say everything he said, right? But in an interview, basically, he doesn't want the hybrid concept. He says, like, maybe 20% of Switch owners play both modes. So he really thinks that the Switch should be handled only, right? He goes on later to say that a Nintendo isn't that smart, so you never know what they will do next. But I think the smart thing would be to get rid of the Switch console and only have the Switch Lite. Get rid of the docking station, get rid of playing on the TV. Maybe offer a Fire Stick-style dongle for those who do want to play it on the TV. Okay, I heavily disagree with that because, one, to say the whole company isn't that smart, I mean, look at the Switch. Look at the Switch sales numbers. Look how successful the console is being. How can you say the company isn't that smart when Nintendo throws a curveball, which is the Switch, the hybrid console? I mean, is he still basing this on the Wii U? The Wii U is the most recent thing I could think of that he'd be basing Nintendo not being that smart on. Almost every company has at least one or two failed products or something that just really doesn't work that well. And sometimes it's not even because of the product itself. It's because the time it was released. But the point is that you can't really say Nintendo isn't that smart based on just the Wii U. I'm not sure if that's all he's basing it off of, but that's the most recent thing I think he could be basing off Nintendo not being that smart on. But moving on, I also have a disagree with this because personally, I mostly use my Switch at home. I almost never play it out. Only really when I'm either going to a place where I know I'm going to have to be sitting down for a long time or something like that, or when I'm going on like airplanes or maybe if I'm in the States and I'm going on a long road trip. But in general, I play the Switch at home. And I think there's a good amount of people who probably do it. Yes, I do believe more people probably use the Switch on the go than at home. But having that option actually, I think, expands Nintendo's fan base. And that's why I think the Switch is so successful. As a handheld console, a good amount of people wouldn't buy it. I think it's successful because it gives that versatility. And now they even have the light. So, hey, you want to spend $100 less and you don't care about the dock? You have the light. So you have versatility in this console. And he wants to take that away. Also, the Switch Lite doesn't have detachable Joy-Cons. And having those detachable Joy-Cons, like when you're on a plane and you put it on like the tray table and you put like the Switch on the tray table and you attach the Joy-Cons, it's much better to play certain games like Super Mario Odyssey. I would not want to play Super Mario Odyssey on like the Switch Lite. Even if I'm playing it away from the dock, I would rather detach the Joy-Cons and put the Switch itself on like a table or something. I, I just think maybe, maybe Pactor. And as Spawnway was pointing out, maybe like people he sees around him use it basically on the go and not much at home. But that's not the majority. I mean, yes, I do think, I personally believe that the majority of people play the Switch more on the go than at home. But having that option, I think, is what really broadens your customer base. Now that you also have the Switch Lite, it broadens it even further, I think. A cheaper console, and maybe you don't care about the dock and stuff like that. So I really think that Ditching the hybrid model would actually hurt sales for Nintendo, not help them. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Michael Pactor is right here and that they should ditch the hybrid model and maybe just include the Fire Stick dongle to like play it for those who want to play it on the TV? Or do you think that the hybrid model is one of the main reasons why the Switch is successful? And do you think it would have been just as successful if it was just a handheld console? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and may God bless you all.